Discover the footballers who have openly clashed with Lionel Messi. Uncover the rivalries and personal feuds that have fueled the hate against one of the greatest players in the game. Number 8. Jasmani Campos. Argentina breezed to a comprehensive 3-0 victory over Bolivia at the 2016 Copa America to finish top of their group with three wins out of three. Messi was named on the bench as the Alba Celeste sought to keep their star man's legs fresh for the knockout stages, but was still given a second-half cameo when his team was already three goals up. It didn't take long for Messi to start, making an impact with his dribbling skills and ingenious passing, with Jasmani Campos among the Bolivia players to be penalist while trying to halt his momentum. Messi took exception to Campos's rough challenge and immediately squared up to him after getting to his feet. The former Barcelona star also pushed his head into his opponent before being pulled away by his teammates. The referee gave Campos a yellow card, but Messi escaped unpunished, much to the Bolivia winger's frustration. He came on to make fun of us. A player of his talent should not be doing what he did, Campos told Goal after the game. He carried out some unnecessary moves to make fun of my teammates, and that is not on. But it's over. He is the best player in the world and Argentina are a great team, and I hope they do really well. Number 7. Ivan Strinic The 2018 World Cup was something of a nightmare for Argentina, who exited at the hands of eventual winners France in the last 16. They were fortunate to even get out of their group, as they needed a narrow win over Nigeria in their third match following a 3-0 defeat against Croatia and a 1-1 draw with Iceland. Messi's frustrations boiled over in the Croatia game as he was involved in an altercation with Ivan Strinic midway through the second half when Argentina were still only a goal down. Both men were floored, but Messi angrily pushed Strinic's leg away as he got to his feet right in front of the referee. Once again, Messi walked away unpunished. Despite Croatia's victory, Strinic couldn't let it lie and also accused the Argentina star of disrespecting one of his teammates from Barcelona. Strinic told reporters when quizzed on his clash with Messi, he has this image where he pretends to be nice and humble, but he's totally the opposite. Not only did he hit me, but when Ivan Rakitic, his friend, was down injured, he refused to kick the ball out despite being the captain. Number 6. The Pitbull the Argentina squad pick it up bronze medals at the 2019 Copa America after beating Chile in a third-place playoff, but the contest was overshadowed by an ugly first, half incident. Messi went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gary, the Pitbull medal, after trying and failing to keep an overhead pass from running out of play. Medal, who had a reputation as one of the toughest men in South American football, successfully put his body in front of Messi, and the Argentine gave him a little push once he realized he wasn't going to reach the ball. Medal then flew at Messi, and a chest barging match began. Both men gave as good as they got before the referee rushed over to break them up and give them their marching orders. It was the first time that Messi had received a red card since his ill-fated debut for Argentina, who went on to scrape a 2-1 victory in his absence. Messi didn't show up to the medal ceremony and later ranted in front of the media about Argentina's semi-final loss against Brazil. There is no doubt, the whole thing is set up for Brazil, he said. I did not want to be part of this corruption. We shouldn't have to be part of this disrespect we suffered during the Copa America. We could have gone further, but we weren't allowed into the final. Corruption, referees, and all the rest stopped people from enjoying the football. Number 5. Telling Tight to Shut Up Messi appeared to carry his ill feeling towards Brazil when Argentina came up against their arch rivals in a friendly clash four months later. The game was ultimately decided by Messi's 14th minute goal, which saw him tuck in a rebound after missing a penalty, but he made headlines for a verbal war with Selecao head coach Tite. Throughout the first half, Tite could be seen complaining to the referee, which eventually prompted a reaction from Messi. The Argentina captain then shushed tight and made a hand gesture that appeared to suggest the Brazil boss had too much to say for himself. In the end, it was Messi who had the last laugh as Argentina gained some revenge on the Selecao, but Tite confirmed what was said during their heated exchange in his post-match press conference. I complained because he, Messi, should have been shown a yellow card and he told me to shut my mouth and I told him to shut his mouth, he said. Number 4. Edinson Cavani 
Argentina came up against Uruguay in another international friendly a few days later, and once again Messi made headlines for his rash behavior. Messi and Edinson Cavani were spotted sniping at each other on several occasions during the match, including when the former was fouled by Matias Vecino just before the interval. The two men traded insults on the pitch, and the row continued as they made their way to the dressing rooms, at which point Uruguay was leading thanks to a Cavani goal. Argentina would go on to earn a 2-2 draw, with Messi scoring a stoppage time penalty to level the scores, but a transcription of his argument with Cavani soon started spreading like wildfire on social media. As per South American outlet Ole, Cavani had asked Messi, do you want to fight? The Barcelona legend then replied, whenever you want. Cavani also addressed the spat in an interview with Ty C Sports saying, it's part of football, Clásicos are like this. The truth is that it was at times a game that had friction. There were challenges and things that are part of football. Number 3. Confronting Van Gaal Argentina's quarter-final encounter against the Netherlands at the 2022 World Cup was one of the most explosive in the history of the tournament. Everything appeared to be going the Alba Celeste's way, heading towards the final 15 minutes of the game, as they led through a Nahuel Molina goal. Messi doubled their advantage from the penalty spot, but raised more than a few eyebrows with his celebration. The wired-in forward cupped his ears in the direction of Netherlands manager Louis van Gaal, who had said before the game that he had a plan to stop Argentina's skipper. The Netherlands then staged a remarkable fight back, with two late goals from Wout Weghorst, forcing the match into extra time and then eventually penalties. Argentina came out on top in the shootout, and Messi then flew over to the opposition bench to rage at Van Gaal again, this time shouting, You talk too much! Messi was still visibly incensed when speaking to reporters, as he also took aim at the general conduct of the Dutch squad after a game that saw a grand total of 18 yellow cards. I feel disrespected by Van Gaal after his pre-game comments and some Dutch players spoke too much during the game, he said. Number 2. Wout Weghorst Messi also spoke to Thai C Sports after the Netherlands game, but briefly stopped answering questions after seeing Weghorst pass him in the background. He then snapped at the Dutch striker. What are you looking at, fool? Gone on, get out of here. Weghorst later claimed that Messi had snubbed his attempts to make peace after the bad-tempered last eight fixture. I wanted to shake his Messi's hand after the match, but he smashed my hand away and didn't want to speak with me, he explained. Full footage of the incident then leaked, which backed up Weghorst's comments as Messi was clearly seen ignoring a handshake with him. Messi and Argentina went on to clinch the famous trophy after a semi-final win over Croatia and thrilling showpiece triumph against France. And once the dust had settled, Messi broke his silence on his feud with the Netherlands' towering striker. Number 1. Manuel Ugarte Argentina went almost a year unbeaten after the World Cup, but their streak was ended by Uruguay in a 2026 qualifying encounter on November 17. Goals from Ronald Araujo and Darwin Nunez gave the visitors all three points at La Bombonera, but Messi came out to criticize the younger members of Marcelo Biesla's squad after the game. Uruguay midfielder Manuel Ugarte reportedly accused Rodrigo de Paul of being Messi's bottle feeder and directed an obscene gesture at the Argentine midfielder in the first half, which sparked a mass brawl between both teams. When asked to address the incident, Messi said, well, these young people have to learn. They Uruguay have a good group of players, a good national team, but they have to learn respect from their elders because this Clásico was always intense, hard, but always with a lot of respect, so they have to learn a little. DePaul also nearly came to blows with Matias Oliveira in the 19th minute of the game, and Messi was seen pushing his elbow into to the Uruguay defender's chest and grabbing his throat after coming to the aid of his Argentine colleague. 